We've seen the long lines, people scrambling to get at-home COVID kits provided by the state or scouring pharmacy shelves for them. These tests can give you a negative or a positive within 15 minutes, but just how reliable are they? First, we asked Yale School of Public Health's Dr. Albert Coe, is there a difference between the rapid test kit you have at home and the one you go to a clinic or a doctor's office and get? So they're essentially the same. Um, you know, there are really two really important types of tests that we use to diagnose COVID. One is the PCR test. The other is a rapid test. PCR tests are the gold standard. They are highly sensitive at detecting COVID. Those results can take longer and are generally analyzed by a lab. Dr. Ko says rapid tests are less sensitive, but have an important role, especially when COVID cases are as widespread as we're seeing. They do perform better when a person is symptomatic uh, and, and likely shedding more higher levels of virus. And in that situation, the sensitivity is about 70 to 80 percent. When you're asymptomatic, that's where it's a little bit more problematic, where the sensitivity of the tests may drop down to 50 to 60 percent. But Dr. Ko says the advantage of the rapid test is that it's convenient. He says they're also good to use if you're going to visit a vulnerable loved one, about to hop on a flight, or attend an event where you want to get a quick check. The reliability of these tests also depends on you following directions. Read them after the recommended length of time. Don't read them uh, an hour later. They, the results are not reliable then. Dr. Sheldon Campbell with Yale Medicine says if used properly, they're pretty good. And if you do get a positive, since they aren't as sensitive, that means you likely have a fair amount of virus in your system. If you get a positive with a rapid test, that's okay. But if you get a negative with a rapid test and you're symptomatic, it's best to get a PCR. Jen Bernstein, Fox 61 News.